new tires in Williamsburg, um, right down the road from our house. And we're gonna get new tires on the Integra today and see how it runs. We got the TPS sensor working, the map sensor's working. Uh, we figured out some issues. We got the hatch cured, so that's all bound and good to go. Um, we had to change the fuel pressure regulator from the one that we bought, the aftermarket one, to the factory one, and it's running so much better. So that was the problem. So now we got to find out how much the fuel pressure is on the factory one, and then we got to dial the one down on the aftermarket one to see if it's uh, see if we can get it running good. But we're gonna get some tires on her today, Tuesday. We're gonna get a new windshield, and then we'll get it inspected. So let's check her out. All right, so we're up at uh, Rodney's Tires in Williamsburg, and they're gonna put new tires on her. We're gonna put some hand cooked tires, some V-rated tires. Um, these tires are dry rotted, and they're 2014, so they are ready to go. So, and this one back here is um, bald on the outside. You can see, you can see the tire. It's it's bald tread, and uh, I know we're missing a lug nut. We probably have it at the house. Probably tip them off to do the brakes and. So I'll we'll have to get a new lug nut for that. I think it's probably at the house, but we're gonna get ready and they're gonna ready and pull this in. And we'll see what she looks like with four brand new tires. So let's get a look at her before we pull it in. Let's get the other side. So we got the hatch down. We had to uh, hook up, put some tape over the spoiler holes because of the um, it's raining a little bit. But there you go. And then we'll start doing some body work after we get it uh, inspected. And we got the Rear bumper underneath here. We got that cut out underneath so it doesn't rub anymore. Sounds good, drives good. So we'll do a video of it test driving on the way home when we get her in and when we get done. So we'll see you in a little while after we get new tires on her. Look at that, it's still got the Nopi sticker, the one that was on it in the salvage yard. Look at that, mm -hmm. I like it. It was a good idea to keep it on there. It's like a memory of what it looked like when we pulled it out. It still had the same stickers on it. My goodness. This car's looking so good. We gave her a bath this morning too. Washed her up. Still need the hatch aligned right there and right there when that uh, accident happened with the other hatch. So I pushed this in. Push this in right here. You can see that there's a little bit of a gap right here, but we'll pull this all out and then get this adjusted out right here. But other than that, I think she's looking good. Look at that, dual overcam VTEC. That's how you know it's a GSR. And it's got a sunroof, so it's not a Type R. But there you go. And you got the other Nopi sticker on it also. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, she's going in. Going in to get some tires. Listen to how good that started up. Oh my goodness. She is running good. Yes. You wanna see the tires? All right, well, she's up. Look at that. Got new tie rods, new everything in there. Look at that. New brakes, new rotors, new calipers, everything. CV axle. Look at that. She's gonna be nice if she gets those new tires on her, huh? The other one, I don't need to get the other one off yet. What do you say about the lug nuts? Yeah. That the ones in the back are 22. They're supposed to be 19. Yeah, I got those at O'Reilly's. Yeah, I got I got those lug nuts at O'Reilly's. This ones they sold me. Yeah, tell me you need an acorn nut with a 19. What they do? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, one of the tires done for the Integra, so you can see 195, 55, 15s, V-rated, hand cut Ventus 2V2s on there, looking how nice those are, so those would be a good uh, all-performance tire, and then it's got the 
the where the tread bar in the middle right there where the water will come out so that'll be good so we'll get all new tires on this one i think they got the other one done not like that and then we got the other tire done so we'll do the fronts and then we'll, we'll do the backs but she is looking nice look at that tire look how nice she's gonna look with new tires look at that versus that to that There you go. What a nice picture that is, huh? Yeah. All right, so they got the other one done for the front. We'll get, the, we'll get a look at the other one, then we'll, get a, we'll do a walk around after it's all done. So we'll be right back when they all get all the tires done. All right, she's all done. She's got new tires all the way around. Hand cut. Just V2s. V rating all the way around. Front, back. And then on the side, front and back. New tires. She should ride so much better. Look at her with new tires. Look at this. Come back here. Let's look at this. Nice. Hey, you ready to do some racing? Yeah. Let's go. So we checked the timing also. Uh, Rodney up at uh, Rodney's Tires helped us out. Checked us out. Helped us with the timing a little bit. Got us hooked up on some tires. So if you're ever in the Williamsburg area, definitely uh, check him out. Rodney's tires right there. There's the number right there. So check him out on uh, on Facebook. And I got some different stuff on Outstrips. He'll definitely uh, hook you up. He did some good work. Hook us up with some brand new tires. So we'll see you at home. We'll do a desk drive. All right. So we're in the Integra. We got to get a new windshield. You can see that it's. Uh, Broken. We got it adjusted. We got the timing is almost there. He let us borrow his timing light to see um, where the timing was on it. So um, we had to adjust a fuel pressure regulator on it um, from the from the aftermarket one to the factory, and it is running so much better. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. There you go. Let it out. There you go. Your first gear. See how much better she runs. She's not falling on her face. Going. You gotta adjust the clutch a little bit more because you gotta push it all the way in again. There you go, now she wants to go. You gotta adjust the um the clutch a little bit. You gotta turn that way.
off just a tiny bit. He said advance it just a little bit. We should be good. I think I pretty much got it dialed in. So fuel pressure is good. Um, everything's working right. All the spark plug wires are right. So we checked that. Double checked that last night. Boy, well, we got some hot heat, huh? Nice. Look how nice he's riding. Riding smooth now. Not so bumpy. Feel like a. We took it there. And figured like a freaking off-road vehicle. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it rode like an off-road vehicle. I couldn't believe it. She's good now. I need to adjust the clutch a little bit, so I'm gonna adjust the clutch. Bring it out just a little bit because you got to push it to the floor to put it in first gear. And you shouldn't have to do that. But we bled the clutch. The clutch is uh, bled right, so we're getting uh, good air, good uh, fluid out of there, good squirt, and then uh, no air, so we're good on that. So, all right, well, we'll see you at home and uh, figure out us. We can get down to the car today. All right, so um, we had a code for the map sensor, so we took the one out and we put the factory one in there, and now we don't have any codes. It's running a little bit better, but it's still running. Um, it's still idle. It's still funny. So we took out the spark plug, and check that out. Let me see if we'll focus here. Look at that. So that's our problem. So we need to go get. Uh, these are all brand new spark plugs. This won't focus. Why won't this focus? There we go. All right, now you can see. Now look at that spark plug. And Corey's getting ready to. Um, we got a lifetime warranty on these NGKs, so we'll go and do that. Corey's getting ready to hook up a scan um, yeah. magnet or our video camera thing and see exactly what um, it looks like. Turn it on. It is on. Okay. Can you see down there? You can see down there, right there. Look at that. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, you can see it right there. So you can see coming down, coming down, coming down there. A little bit of carbon on the piston just a little bit so I'll probably have to run a um, run a thing through it just to clean up that carbon but it's not bad I mean they're brand new pistons now you can actually see now so we're gonna go get uh we're gonna go get new spark plugs for it throw it in here and then we're gonna test drive it and see if it's actually running better but Corey said to pull the spark plugs check them and that's what we got so pretty sure with the other uh, fuel pressure regular that we had on there it was giving it way too much gas and that's what we got so now that we fixed the throttle position sensor we fixed the map sensor and all the issues are fixed um, this is the cause of it so we're gonna go get new spark plugs and we will be right back we'll throw them in here and then we'll see what we got um, after we start it up we'll test drive it and see if it's better all right, so I just got back from uh, O'Reilly and I swapped the um, swapped those ones out because they had a warranty and only got like 35 miles on there. So these are the new ones. We're going to get ready and drop these in and see if it sounds better. So we'll be right back once we put these in and we'll fire it up and we'll see how she sounds and uh, we'll go for a test drive. Now that we got the intake on there. And I extended the wires for the, for the TPS sensor right here. I extended the wires out so it would go over the intake. Got the new map sensor in there. So we should be good. And we changed the pressure regulator. So we should be good. And I got the ignition timing um, about right. Um, we did the ignition timing at the, at the tire place. The guy had one on there. And then we got the new tires for her. So she's got all four brand new tires. So... I'll be right back. We're going to put these in and see what she sounds like. All right, so I got the spark plugs in there. Got all the wires tight. And we're going to fire it up, and we're going to see if it fires up better and if the throttle's better. Okay, ready? Go ahead. And there's Bailey G. Hey, 
Maybe that draw of position sensor needs to be uh, just cleaned back just a little bit. Rev it up a little bit. Yeah, once it warms up. Rev it up a little bit. That's better. Go test, test drive and see. Uh, we're gonna go for a test drive and we'll see if it's, uh, if it's better as far as throttle. got the engine running right um, we had to switch out the eBay map sensor right there to the factory one on the old throttle body because that one other one the eBay one went out and it's only got 35 miles on it so that tells you uh, right there don't buy eBay stuff um, got the throttle position sensor um, I had to put a multimeter to it um, so I'm getting like 1.6, so it says 0 0.9 to 1.7 or 1.9, so throttle body's good. Um, I used the GSR um, bracket. I had another bracket on here, but I had to use this one, so I just bent it down a little bit. And now we got a little bit of slack coming from the cable now, so now we don't have a sticky gas pedal. So that's done. Um, replaced the, the fuel pressure regulator to the factory one. And it's running so much better. It doesn't have gas pouring out the freaking exhaust. And replaced all the spark plugs. Got that done. And got this on there. And she should be ready to uh, ready to go to pass inspection um, after we get the windshield. So that's going to be um, tomorrow morning. We're going to get the, the new windshield on. But you're going to have to catch that in the next video. All right, so since we uh, picked up the Integra from the exhaust shop, it was, wasn't was running right, and uh, we had a sticky throttle. Map sensor went out. Um, we don't have any codes now, so and it's running so much better. We had a lot of gas coming out the exhaust just a little bit, and when I put my hand up there and smelled the exhaust, it smelled like gasoline. So we changed the fuel pressure regulator to the factory one till we can get it tuned, and it's running good. Probably drove it the other day, test drove it, said it's running good. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get the um, new windshield put in. But you have to catch that in the next video. And we're going to top it off at uh, NTB up the road and get it inspected and see if it passes. So we'll see. We'll see if this all this hard work paid off. But if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.